Good evening everyone. I am Jambi Jaina from class 7C and now I am going to narrate the story Room on the Broom. The story was narrated by Geraldine Gawit from England in the first episode of Storytime at 9. There was once a witch <laughs> who had a very tall hat, a cat, a magnificent broom and ginger hair that she tied in a plait. The cat and the witch rode the broom and went through the wind. Whee! They were having so much fun, but then a gust of wind blew the witch's hat away. Oh no, my beautiful hat! They landed on the ground and searched for the hat, but they couldn't find it anywhere. Just then, a dog came out of the bushes. Woof, 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 woof. It had the witch's hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom, woof, woof, for a dog like me? Hmm. Yes. The dog joined them and they sat on the broom. The witch tapped on the broom and whoosh. They were gone. They flew over fields and forests and had so much fun. But then again, a strong gust of wind blew. Whoosh. This time, the witch clutched on tight to her hat. But her beautiful bow blew away from her ginger plait. My bow, my beautiful bow, cried the witch as they descended down. They searched for the bow everywhere, but no bow could be found. Eek! Eek! Out from the tree came a green bird, and the bird had the witch's bow in her beak. I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Hmm, yes, exclaimed the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped on a broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the rivers and reeds they flew and once again the stormy wind blew. Whoosh. The intelligent witch clutched onto her hat and her bow, but she let go of her wand. <gasps> oh no, my precious wand! Down! cried the witch and so they descended. They looked for the wand everywhere, but unluckily they could find it nowhere. Just when they were about to give up, suddenly a frog came out of a pond with a dripping wet wand. Rabbit, rabbit, I am a frog, rabbit, rabbit. As clean as can be, is the room on the broom for a frog like me, rabbit, rabbit. Hmm. Yes, cried the witch. So the frog hopped in. The witch tapped on her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. They flew over mountains and rivers and fields and forests. The frog was so happy that he jumped on the broom. And when he did that, the broom snapped in two. Down fell the frog and the cat and the dog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and then she heard something scary and loud. Roar! I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and I am planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No! cried the terrified witch as she flew higher and higher and tried to escape the dragon. But the dragon came after her, breathing out fire. Ooh, ooh. Help! Help! cried the witch, and she flew to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. And then behind her, the dragon came nearer, and just when he was about to pounce, there rose a terrifying beast from the ditch. It was tall 
and dark and sticky. It had furs and feathers, four terrifying heads and wings like a bird. Buzzer! growled the terrible beast. That's my witch. The dragon was terrified and he drew back. I am so sorry. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And with this, the terrified dragon flew away. Thank you, oh thank you, said the grateful witch. Without you, I would have been the dragon's next meal. Then the witch took out her claw drawn. Bring something, everyone, throw something in. And then the dog bought a bone, the cat got a coat, the frog bought a lily, and the bird bought a twig. The witch put everything in and stirred it well. Mmm. And along with that, she muttered a spell. Ziggity, zaggity, zappity, zoom! And then out from the clodron rose a magnificent broom. It had seats for the witch and the dog and the cat. It also had a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. They were all so happy that they started to smile. They all clambered on. The witch then tapped on her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Thank you.